what? I, they didn't know what they were talking about. We would, we know our, we're different from the presidential. We're very discreet, reptilian, cold-blooded. These are the races we have to win. Others are winning the whole country. <laughs> Ten. You are listening to something that someone actually said. The president didn't, doesn't know what's going on. He said, I'm sorry, she said they didn't know what was going on, referring to, I believe, the Republicans. And then she said, we are discreet. We are reptilian. We are cold-blooded. Those are her own words. Out of the mouth comes the abundance of the heart. And I'll tell you what, today what you're going to see is probably more than a human brain can deal with. I'm just going to be honest. It's It may overload you. Pray. Just pray because what you're going to see is the truth and the reality of where you are and that the host body is an illusion. And when you see past the illusion, when you pull the veil open and you see past the, the veil, the, uh, the apocalypse, the unveiling, and you see what we're really dealing with, the only thing that'll get you through this is faith in the Lord God. The only way you can have that is when you know that you know the Lord. When you know that you know, Hinosko, when you know absolutely, and the only way you know absolutely is you've been converted, turned quite around turn the other direction and when you see the world upside down then you have been converted then you know and then you're on the rock because you will not be able to deal with the things i'm going to show you unless you're on the rock or willing to turn to the rock that's it that's why it's called the rock of ages upon this rock i will build my church that's the rock you turn the world you're you're inverted so you turn the whole world upside down and you come together, one in Christ, and then you stand opposite the world. That's what happens. Y'all, I hope you guys are ready. <laughs> Buckle up. Let's watch that one more time. But I, they didn't know what they were talking about. We would, we, but I, they didn't know what they were talking about. We would, we know our, we're different from the presidential. We're very discreet, reptilian, cold-blooded, these are the races we have to win. Uh, look at this lady looking at Nancy Pelosi, just going like, but Nancy Pelosi manifests what she is. You'll know every tree by its fruit. They know that we're tied together. They know there's a reptilian essence that's t female energy that's tying everything together because what's running them knows it. Do you understand? So. Let me just show you something else. So just I'm going to show you a couple of short little clips, two minute clips. Just pay attention. Two minute clips. I'm going to play this 56 second clip. I use it as an intro, but I want you to pay attention to the words. Uh, if you would please pay attention to the serpent race, pay very close attention to the words, to the words. And look at what's on your screen as well, but listen to the words. Okay, and then I'm going to show you some other clips that should leave your jaw hanging open. And I'm going to show you the folder now where this movie Romulus, Romulus, so you like the Sigourney Weaver alien movie. The name of the, the xenomorph from the very first alien movie is XX121. Female, XX is female. What's 121? Adam, man, female, man. That's what the Xenomorph from all the Alien movies is. XX, one, two, one, Adam, man. Female, man. What did I tell you Genesis 1 was? Female energy, parthenogenesis, starting a host body system, self-fertilizing with an archetype female, self-fertilizes, self-fertilizes, has a, has a population, transgender start having sex with themselves an incestuous reptilian race that's what the host body system begins as and then the second man is the lord from heaven and the form of adam and eve and they co-mingle together and then it's a spiritual being interlocked with a natural 
of the earth being that was created by Elohim. Now, which all which all are going to see today defies the human brain, uh, but it's perfect in logic and understanding and e easiness of visual understanding. But if your heart's corrupted and you won't admit who you are and what you've done, it's the most bizarre thing in the world. I've shown, I've shown the twin tower bombings to people on the U.S. currency, and I've shown them these other images, and it means nothing to them. Nothing. If the bombings of the twin towers is on your money, and the bombing of the federal building is on your money, and you see it with your eyes, and you recognize that. Oh my God, those are the bombings on our money. What are the bombings doing on our money? They shouldn't be on our money. No, they shouldn't be on your money. So if they are on your money, that should just blow your freaking mind. And if it doesn't have any impact on you, are like, oh yeah, well, whatever. What do you mean, oh, well, whatever? The bombings are on your freaking money. <laughs> it's so crazy. They're in a trance. They're... Look at Nancy Pelosi, what she just said. Okay, we'll play her one more time. Then I'm going to play a two-minute segment of the Serpent Race, some of these little shorties that are part of this channel, to put it all together for you. We're going to go into the Xenomorph thing from Romulus, and we're going to go into the new manifestation. It's called Blue Tongue. It's a variant of, you know, uh, apparently one of the new diseases that's it's called Blue Tongue. I'll show you that, and then I'll show you the new manifestation that society is doing openly in front of all the sheep. They're going like this and they're putting their hands like paws, like hooves, like they go like this and then they go, how, why would people be doing that? But they are doing that. <laughs> hey, Johnny, how you doing? Remember that story? And they wink their eye and they stick out their tongue. The eye that's winking at you is the angel of the abyss looking right at you. The person that's sticking out their tongue is manifesting the angel of the abyss mocking you because saying you're a dead sheep because what's in you is being slaughtered by them through the host body system. It's all done through the host body. That's the big thing you get to get your mind around. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Let's just get to it now. Let's try it again. Uh, one more time, Nancy. Tell us all what's going on. Please make sure we all know. Uh, let's hear it. I, I, they didn't know what they were talking about. We were, we know our... We're different from the president. We're very discreet, reptilian, cold-blooded. These are the races we have to win. <laughs> okay. Let me take you to the folder now. I want to show you a, a couple things, just a couple of, uh, pictures. Here's a cartoon that popped up. It said, and I told them after the seventh booster, we'd let them see their families. So they're all sitting around having cocktails in a room. And here is somebody that uh, Rand Paul is actually running advertisements on YouTube to prosecute Fauci because of all the lies he told to Congress, knowing knowing that there was no effectiveness and knowing that it caused serious issues. They proceeded with it. Let me ask you a question. If you knew that something would cause serious issues with everybody, but you knew that was important to who you are, like if you're like Nancy Pelosi just said, if you're, if that's important to you because you're cold blooded reptiles, well, why would you force everybody to get one of these? Like, why would you pressure the whole world into getting one of these when it had that in it? It had that in it, and it had that in it. And the part that was the Imrana, you know what I'm saying, is called that. But that is that. What did she say again? We're cold-blooded reptiles. Well, that's interesting. This has the same thing written all over it. <laughs> yeah, I've been telling you guys. Do you remember that when Nancy Pelosi voted for abortion rights? She voted for abortion rights, even up until, very, I, I believe, last trimester. Like, you know, they've been trying to push abortion rights up until the moment of birth. So maybe they can get their eyes on it and see that it's a sheep. And they don't want any sheep here, maybe. You ever consider that? Um, let me show you something else. 
if you're in the folder, go right here to this image of a fly. I want to remind you guys of something because the serpent race, the serpent race uh, that's hunting the sheep within the system. So it's evil energy hunting good energy, which the good energy is the angelic energy in the form of a sheep. The serpent energy is an insect. So it's an insect from the pit of locust with tails like scorpions, kind of like the xenomorph, the XX one two one in the movie we I'm talking about. But watch this. Here is here is this fly. I don't know if y'all remember this, but during uh Trump's speech or no, I'm sorry, during Biden's speech, uh, Nancy Pelosi was doing the strangest thing while he was talking about burn pits. That's what she was doing when she was talking about burn pit when he was talking about burn pits and she sat there and just kept doing it. It was a very strange manifestation. There she is doing it again. She just kept doing it and doing it. It was so bizarre. Anyway, uh, uh, Sky News Australia did quite a segment on it. So anyway, but I don't know if you guys remember that Nancy Pelosi was told she could not receive, she couldn't receive communion because of her abortion stance for the Democratic Party. Um, but what's fascinating is she made such a stink about it. She went over to Rome to see the Pope and the Pope gave her uh, communion, celebrating communion, like you're communing with Christ. He gave her communion. But don't forget, what are they standing inside of? Isn't the Vatican a big snake? So imagine the person you just saw say that they're reptiles, cold-blooded, whatever, and they got to do what they got to do. Um, she did go to a big building that's in the shape of a snake and go inside and have the leader of the big building that's in the shape of a snake give her a wafer that represents the body of Christ. You know, like there's a, there's a ceremony, I think that it's called Metatheosis, when they bless the host and they actually believe they're turning that host into the actual flesh of Christ. That would be cannibalism, wouldn't it? It would be, wouldn't it? Cain and Abel. Huh. I guess it sounds like a manifestation. Here she is uh, showing up to get her communion after she was told, no, because you want to kill babies right when they come out of their mother. We can't give you communion. But she said, I'm going to override you. And I'm going to show you that I can get communion anyway because that's who I am. And again, once again, let's take a look at just uh, the reality of Strong's three in the Bible, the number three, A, B, C, C, and then O, V, I, D, and then 19. So that would be Strong's three as the serpent, Abaddon, angel of the abyss which is a race of insects that's the serpent. There it is. So here's the serpent. There's the there's the whole building is two serpents, one birthing another one. And then there's the there's the head of the sheep right there. Serpent sheep slaughter. Now you know it's absolutely true. It was a serpent sheep slaughter from from who? From those guys. You know what a raptor means? A rapist and a thief. Weren't thieves crucified alongside a, a thief? Why would they be thieves? Well, because they're stealing God's children, his essence, in the form of his children. So now let's look at another image I want you to pay very close attention to. I've shown this one to you a lot of times. Here's the head of an insect right here. Here's the altar in the Vatican. It's a head of an insect as well with the eyes being blue and the mandibles right here. And then that purple part is the the center part of the nose of the sheep it turns into a big insect harvesting semen because that chair of saint peter becomes a penis and it's ejaculating all the angels are melting into semen and here's that same altar why would an altar turn into a giant bug harvesting semen well now you know why why would girls have the identical tattoo on their genitalia as this whole giant altar because they are this, they're they're the grinders. Uh, they grind God's angels into nothing. So here's that altar that's a big giant sheep, but it's an angel. The whole thing are angels. So the sheep is an angel coming into the female reproductive system and the male reproductive system. That's because Elohim said, "Let us create man in our image, in the image of Elohim." 
created in him male and female. There's there's your big dead sheep, which is all of us, and it's male and female energy. That's why there's a penis here. That's why you invert it. It becomes female reproductive system. Here's a wholly different alt. This is a different church. I want you to look at the sheep right here. Drag that sheep's face right here. There's the eye. There's the eye. Nostril, nostril. There's the snoot. There's the ear. So why are why are these Catholic churches manifesting big dead sheep made up of angels? Why would, why would you do that? Well, because it's true. And everything I've been telling you and everything the Lord God, whom I serve, showed me, has manifested into truth now. And then there were a lot of people that came at me saying I was a false prophet. <sighs> Is the Vatican a snake? It's a yes or no. It is a snake. Well, then I'm not a false prophet. I'm a prophet. And anyway, but it is what it is. So now here we go. <clears throat> Let's keep going. Hmm. Looks like I'm having a little program glitch. Um, yeah, surprise. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, there you go. That There's a word for that. That's called hypocrisy. And the Bible says all hypocrites, dissemblers, Phonies, frauds shall go into the pit. Um, now, let me just remind you, let me show you a history of some logos real quick. This is a, a, a logo history for these guys. So 1849, there's their logo. So 1849 to 1940, there's their logo. From 1940 to 1990, it goes from black to blue. And then from 1990 to 2000. And nine is right here. But in 2021, there was a major change. Can you guys tell me what you think the change was? Uh, so here's these guys' logo. Here's the evolution of their logo. And here's their logo in 2021 when that serpent sheep slaughter thing got here. Now, what's fascinating about that is the, the logo, it matches the people in line to get See this this logo right here, right side up, upside down, isn't it? Isn't it the same thing as these people that were photographed in line to go get the you know the thing they produce? See, remember? So it would keep you right side up, upside down. I told you, I told you that's what this was all about. Now it's proven. It's not just maybe. I've got all the data. The data proves it. Pretty fascinating, huh? <laughs> It's like, yikes. Here we go. All right. Now, here, this is something y'all should probably read. Um, because, you know, after showing you Fauci and uh, that guy blows the whistle on is actually a known blank of that. So, virologists blow the whistle. That thing right there is actually known of this. So they're selling, they're telling everybody it's uh, another thing, but they're, you know, they'll use it as a reason maybe to lock things down and tell you you can't go do this or go do that. But here it is. If you just pause this, I would like you to pause my video right here and just read this right here, okay? Read all this right here, okay? Now let's move on. So hopefully you paused my video and you read that. You should, okay? Now let's keep going. Okay, now let me show you something that should just blow your mind. This is gonna, this is just blow your mind, scary stuff right here. Okay, you see that right there? That that xenomorph. Uh, the not the name of that xenomorph is XX121. So I just did Google image search XX121. I noticed in the movie that the teeth were silver-like. It had a pair of silver grills. I was like, <laughs> actually, Corey and I made a little joke because the xenomorph has these silver teeth like it's got grills. And I was like, have they always been like that? But anyway, it's kind of interesting because when I saw it, you know what happened to my brain? I went, my brain went to Miley Cyrus. Now, remember in the hieroglyph of Akhenaten and Nefertiti, the queen is a sheep with its tongue sticking out when you rotate her. The child in the head, in, in, the, in the skull of the child that Akhenaten is holding, the child has a dead sheep with its tongue sticking out. The virgin, when you turn it upside down, is a sheep with its 
tongue sticking out. So now we have three sheep with their tongue sticking out. Uh, the hieroglyph of Akhenaten, the queen, the, all the kids, they have dead sheep in their heads. Uh, the virgin, you turn it upside down, it's a sheep with its tongue sticking out. Uh, hey, Johnny, I drew a picture of you. Someone telling me they drew a picture of me. It's got a sheep with its tongue sticking out. Not once, not twice, three times. I have three different things that were given to me that have dead sheep with their tongue sticking out. Three of them. Yep. Given to me, directed at me. So that means they were coming at me like hunting me so anyway so it's the common denominator well there's a new variant of this kind of stuff that's coming out and it's called blue tongue and oddly enough it really seems to want to affect sheep you know like sheep and so the very thing that is an altar in the Vatican which is a sheep with its tongue sticking out the very thing that the virgin turns into when you turn it upside down, which is a sheep with its tongue sticking out. And the other images I've talked about, I'm going to show them to you right now. It's all sheep with their tongues sticking out. What's really weird is the new this new variant, it says it really tries to go and get sheep. And it makes their tongue stick out and turn blue. You know what the new, you know what the new, uh, like thing is in sports. Like instead of high, you know how they high five. Sometimes they jump up and hit stomachs. You know, now they come up and they go like this. They put their hands in front of them like their hooves, and they go. Do you believe me? You want to see it? Watch. Here we go. Go to the folder. XX121 is taking over the whole system from the inside. You just couldn't see it, but I'm going to make it visible because the Lord's going to use me to show it to you. Okay, now remember, they manifest what they are. And just like they come up to me and they draw, see, they draw a picture of me. So see how they have their hands like that and see their tongue sticking out? They have their tongue sticking out. Their their hands are that they have their hands like like hooves, and it just how it so happens there's a new variant called blue tongue, and it just seems to affect the sheep really bad. Isn't that great? So let me let me kind of just show all that to you so you can wrap your brain around. Now remember, you can tell every tree by its fruit. So I told you the tree that's the most evil is the two X. Do y'all remember when the Lord took me to the bridge to have me throw the rocks from Chinati into the river, which is what he had told me he wanted me to do? And the very bridge itself had two X on it. And he told me it's all water under the bridge. That's why he took me there. Um, here's a manifestation of the Olympics. The girls, they go upside down and they made two X. They made XX with their legs while they were upside down. And before they jumped in the water, one girl grabbed the other girl's head. She made tr with her elbows very, uh, very, prof you know, just direct, directly made her elbows stick out like the top of the hendecagram. See, one elbow going one way, one going the other. And then she grabs the girl's head in front of her who just happens to have a face on the back of her head, you know, just like the Adidas original commercial, just like uh, the top of the hendecagram, just like the movie by Jordan Peele called Us, and it's 9-11, because 9-11 is a twin system. They had a king over them, the twin system, the insect race does. And so here she is with a face on her back of her head and the front of her head, and then this girl turns her head upside down. And then they go in the pool and they make two X. And here I'll just show you because here it is. Look, there it is. Why would you have a face on the back of your head? And why would this girl do who looks totally demonically possessed turn it upside down like that? Why would you jump in the pool upside down and make two X's? Uh, I know this guy from San Antonio that the Lord told, told him the whole system was two X energy made by Parthenogenesis. But not to be uh, redundant, but to remind you, the dragon in the Vatican, the corner post of the canopy, is the head of a dragon. And I'll do the dragon right here in green right in front of you so you can see the eyes are red. And here's the nose right here and the mouth is wide open. But it's also a woman wearing a bonnet. There's her eye, her eye, and her mouth. And she's wearing a bonnet that is the dragon. So she is the dragon and she enslaves 
man as her puppet. And here it is just, you know, without it being colored in, but I showed you the keys make 2X and 2X, uh, which is just like the Dos Equis guy because you see 2X is female here, female here with the man in the middle. So he's sandwiched between 2X and 2X. And the Lord's taught me how to read their language and to understand their iconography. Like uh, he made me just, he made me how he made me. Anyway, so here we go. So now uh, it becomes very obvious, just like Madonna, 2X comes up from the pit because that is what's, uh, that's what's rising from the pit. That's why Madonna here at Quavo, she comes up. She forms her body like a keyhole on purpose. So she forms her body like a keyhole on purpose, showing that the door has been unlocked and they are coming up from the pit. She'll have an X on her eye and an X on her chest right here. Watch. There it is. 2X. Okay, so 2X is rising up out of the pit to take over the host body system. That's why Obama has a company called Higher Ground. That's the energy rising out of the pit. 2X. That's why Michael is really a transgender. Uh, that's why it's uh, that's why in Ozzy Osbourne, patient number nine, it exactly the 326 mark, a person that's dead on an OR is getting is getting one of these and it represents reviving the whole system for the angel of the abyss to inhabit and so in ozzy osbourne i uh, the eye opens up like right here like a person that was dead waking up in an or with this right in front of them and at the 326 mark the lord told me look at the moment the eye opens and i thought that's weird that's super weird why would i look at the moment the eye opens and it's 326 and I did what the Lord said and the word is Ana Zao and it means I come to life again, revive, regain life. Well, to be watching an Ozzy Osbourne video where a guy's getting an injection and he's already dead, but the injection brings him to life again. And at 326, it means I come to life again. That's the Lord God whom I serve communicating with me to let you know what's going on. The angel of the abyss is coming to life again because of the system that's being set up throughout the host body system so he can take it over. Blunt, plain and simple, not arguable. There's no way someone could show you what I just showed you. That's not possible. And just to make a point, in his video, he personifies mut. Mut means got mother, which in the Egyptian iconography is twin female scorpion from the pit. So here she comes. Uh, she's a twin female. She's coming together and the two become one. They're tied together and becomes the serpent. And now the serpent is taking over the entire earth. And as a manifestation of the serpent taking over the earth, let me show you somebody that's taken by the serpent. I, they didn't know what they were talking about. We were, we know our, we're different from the president. We're very discreet, reptilian, cold-blooded. These are the races we have to win. I mean, she's possessed. I mean, you can see it, right? I, you can see with your own eyes. You can see the possession, right? I can. It's like, wow, that woman is taken. Sad. How sad. Anyway, it's pretty fascinating just to watch it all roll out, and that's exactly what we're watching roll out. Now, back to the scriptures. So we are we're seeing it. Now, don't forget, where was she getting her where was she getting her communion from the Pope? Inside of a snake. So uh in front of a dead sheep, in front of a bunch of angels. So it's it's fair to say that she's a you know, she's all about the, she's okay with all the angelic essence being slaughtered within the system. I mean, goes without saying. She lies. She says it's all about being uh, reptilian, cold-blooded, and Nancy Pelosi will say it's okay to murder a child when it's born. It's at the time of birth. That's okay with her. But she can still go get communion by the Pope. Like, that means something. Anyway, so you see where we're at, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, now, there's a new movie uh, that's an alien series called Romulus and Remus, which are the twins that allegedly Rome was built on. And it's a set of twins and one murdered the other one and they were nursed of a jackal. Okay, well, the whole system 
is in Genesis 1, I told you, parthenogenesis, virgin Genesis. That's why the, the, the Vatican is a snake, and it's birthing another snake, self-fertilization, female energy, energy, but it creates male and female genitalia in a system we call the host body. So it's forming man. So female, the parthenogenesis, virgin genesis. So a female archetype is the first one. Then she self fertilizes her egg. And then that is birth. She does it again, does it again. And then those, those children that she has, uh, they self fertilize as well. And they start producing young. And then they transgender. So then they'll have a baby that's got a penis. And then the one that's got a penis will inject his penis into one of the siblings and or the mother and impregnate her. That's why Samarimus and Nimrod were considered the ancient Babylonian religion because uh, uh, Samarimus was Nimrod's mom. So he's banging his mom. I'm sorry, I'm just being blunt. That's just disgusting, but that's what the ancient Babylonian religion is. And Nimrod was a manifestation of it, and Tammuz was the reincarnation. So it's fascinating when you see it in the light, because I am in the light. The Lord's put me directly in the light, and I'm trying to give all the light to you that I can, because we're at the moment that the only thing that will get you through what's coming is your faith. And if you're not on the rock, you won't, your faith will never survive. You will have no, your faith will not survive what's coming without being on the rock. It won't. You have to turn back. You invert the world, see the truth, be on the rock that we're on, and then you'll be able to stand in the day of evil. Okay, now, let's see. Serpent. The word Ovid means sheep. That's why. Okay, but here's the thing. Let's just call it angel because that whole sheep is made up out of what? Angels. So they're inside of a serpent though, right? So the serpent is bringing the angels into the serpent to slaughter them. Why do you think the Vatican made its own coin, which has a woman on each side of a guy? No different than the Dos Equis beer guy. It's all the same. It's all the same. It's no different than the Ian Bud Light. It's all the same. Ian's walking in between two identical twins. So now it's proven. I mean, this is empirical data. It's not arguable. It's perfect. And it's 100% scriptural. That's why all the false prophet hunters get so pissed off because the Lord gave me the word. I come with the sword of the spirit. I don't come with the oh, calling people names. That's what they do to me. Oh, you're a liar, false prophet. Oh, F this, F that. But they don't come with the word of God because they can't. The word of God will never contradict itself. I've seen people try and abbreviate stuff and make it mean something different by the way they tried to post it. <clears throat> anyway, but I'll deal with that when I see it happen. Um, anyway, so here we go. So yes, yeah, serpent sheep slaughter time is here. And they have a super cool manifestation and they like to do it in front of you at sporting games. And I'm going to try and show it to you right now. But there it is. And they like to do their little hooves up like a poor little sheep. And then they like to stick their tongues out, making fun of the dead sheep. And now there's a thing called a new virus called um, blue tongue. Hang on. So now remember, we saw a whole lot of sheep with their tongues sticking out, right? Let me read this one to you. The blue tongue virus causes the most harm to sheep of all the ruminant livestock species it affects. A fever of 105 to 107.5. And it's interesting. This may, this may be actually something that is worth looking at. That develops after an incubation period. Nice. Swelling of the jaw. Mouth and the tongue, which can cause the tongue to stick out. I mean, are you even believing for a second that there's something called blue tongue that affects the sheep? When we have all these people that stick their tongue out to mock the sheep, let me show you what I'm talking about. It's just a common manifestation because the Bible said uh, it would be a manifestation. It, it's a manifestation in Psalm 35, 19. Neither let them that are mine enemies wrongfully rejoice over me neither let them stick out the tongue 
Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Neither let them wink the eye that hate me without a cause. And then in Isaiah 57, verse 4, against whom do you sport yourself and stick out your tongue? Are you not the seed of falsehood? Okay, here we go. We're running into uh, buffering problems. Okay, this magazine's called V Files. V, because there's a V that, that's, that's female. Okay, so V is female, chalice, blade, male, female, V Files, female files. You get it? So female files, and she's winking the eye, which is perfect, because the angel of the bottomless pit is that one. So she's winking her eye, and she's sticking her tongue out. That is the exact thing Alex did to me when I said, I'll bet you a million dollars that guy draws a picture of me, and when he does, he puts an image of a dead sheep on my face. Let me ask you an honest question. Who in the hell could say something like that and be right? <laughs> like a week and a half later, hey, I drew a picture of you. I mean, what did we have a meeting over at my house? Hey, Alex, I want you to draw a picture of me and put a dead sheep on my face. I didn't even know the guy. So, I mean, all I knew of him was when I went in and waved to Chris or whatever, got uh, the occasional drink from uh, Starbucks. Okay, now watch this. V files. What's she doing? Winking the eyes, sticking out the tongue. Both biblical manifestations of those that hate the sheep. Don't forget, we got blue tongue going on right now. We have a thing called blue tongue. Now, here is a perfect image because Miley Cyrus, come on. Anyway, I'll just stretch them out. They're not going to go. Miley Cyrus has her tongue sticking out and she's making a heart with her hands around her vagina and it's so crazy because you know she's got these silver teeth and that's like uh, the thing from Scooby-Doo, Traps Illustrated. But it's all obviously that this is a trap. Okay, well, here's the picture that somebody drew of me. His name's Alex and he drew this picture of me. He put a dead sheep behind my ear. which now, So now you know, the only one that could have put that sheep on there is the serpent race, someone that's being run by the serpent race. No one else could have done that picture of me and given it to me with a dead sheep on it unless they were of the serpent race and the reason he did that is because he was winking his eye and sticking out his tongue that's how i knew he would draw that picture of me and i said he would i said watch because their goal is to destroy all the sheep well what are the sheep angels it's the angelic essence from above your soul it's your soul so they want your soul so the down race that owns a host body system that's female wants your soul i'll say it again the 2x 2x energy from the pit female energy that's owned by him in the image of elohim created he him him Male and female created he them. See, male and female is just like a trans, it's a transmutation device to get a supernatural essence or, a, uh, you know, energy into a, a system. Forget that it's a body, but it's got two different ports and it can transfer back and forth from this one or this one or this one. And they can take that angelic essence out. And because of sin, that, that angel that's trapped in there can never get back his essence because he's in that system now is he's done for he took the bait and he can't he took the bait of taking on the host body once you're in the host body you're done but the lord god from heaven el the almighty god could come into the system through the medium that's called the flesh that's why he was born of a virgin and he came and he and so the holy spirit not a commingled spirit not a heterogenetic prison house just pure spiritual being comes in through a virgin and is birthed into the flesh and he can carry your load he can carry your burden for you if you accept his payment so he can reconcile the male and female opposition energies inside of you and reconcile both to himself through the one that he sent in to do it so G so l sent in you know, sin in his guy, which is himself, in the form of Emmanuel, 
So I, I'm going to send myself from heaven. L's going to send himself from heaven, and he's going to come in his pure spirit into a, just think of it as a sack. And that sack is walking around, laying hands on the, you know, people that are dead, raising the dead, restoring sight to the blind. And he's walking around sinless. And then he says, anyone that believes on me and the way that you know that you believed on him is you turn the world upside down. That's why you're on the rock, because then you saw the female half of the equation. Do you understand? When I when I turned the virgin upside down and I saw it was a dead sheep, I'm like, what the hell, man? Why is this a dead sheep? Why would they do it? And then it became a common denominator. Then people started drawing pictures of me with dead sheep on me. Why? Why is the Vatican a snake eating a sheep? Okay, you get it now? It's done. It's solved. The Vatican's a snake. It's killing a sheep. Then the sheep are the angels, so the serpent's killing the angels. And that's what free will is. That's how we ended up here. You can't love your father in heaven without free will. You have to have free will to love your father. And when you get trapped in the flesh and he saves you and you know he saved you because you discovered the truth, you'll know the truth. Once you know the truth, you know that you know that you know. It's like you know absolutely. The word is hinosko. And then we have the mind of Christ because when you get turned up, now you have the mind of Christ. Why do you think it says in, in Revelation 1, blessed is he that readeth and those that hear it, the words of this book, the word blessed is he that readeth. You know what the word readeth says? To know up again. Blessed is he that knows up again. And the word blessed means supremely, com supremely blessed, like beyond anything else. And that's like in, Mar in, in Mark 8, what should it profit a man if he gains the entire world? So if you got the entire world, but you lost your soul, that means your soul is more valuable than the entire world. That's why whoever tries to save his life for yourself and doing your own will, that's fine. You can do it. But in the end, Satan gets your soul. But once you discover the other half of the equation and you're like, oh my God, I'm in a prison. Wait a minute. And then you know that Jesus came in to save you and it was really a trap. Then you're like, oh my God, thank you so much. And then you have true gratitude and love for your creator because you know that he came in. You know he did. You don't think he did. You proved he did when you inverted the world. That's what being on the rock is. That's why Peter was crucified upside down. That's what it all means. That's why Jesus told Peter in uh, John chapter 21. He's asked him three times, do you love me? Three times. One, two, three. Get it? He denied him three times. He was restoring him. Hey, Peter, do you love me? Yes, I love you. Hey, Peter, do you love me? Yes, I love you. Hey, Peter, do you love me? Lord, you know I love you. He says, then feed my sheep. The only way you can really feed the sheep is you invert the world for them. You show them to invert the world, they'll see the truth. So then he says, then feed my sheep. And he said, Peter, when you when you were younger, you went where you wanted to go. But when you're older, you'll go where you wish not to go. Jesus told these words to Peter to show him what kind of death he would die to sort of, to glorify God. He died upside down but he had the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Get it? He died upside down. Jesus died right side up on a cross. Mirror reflection, upside down. Good is up. We're, we're evil. The Bible says, and you being evil. So we're evil. So Jesus is up. Peter is down. Good is up. Evil is down. But Peter has the keys to make your eyes whole. And now the Lord's let me tie it all together like this. This uh, Romulus and Remus thing. It's not, it's not fiction. It's nonfiction. It's real. This shit's real. They hide it right in front of your face. See, people think they front load or they gaslight you. No, they don't. They just are what they are right in front of you. And when you discover it, you're like, how did they do? Oh, they're gaslighting us. No, 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 no. They're the serpent. Just like Nancy Pelosi just showed you. She literally just said it. When they wink their eye or stick out their tongue, that's in the Bible. Against whom do you sport yourself and stick out your tongue? Are you not the seed of the falsehood? Uh, children of the adulterer and the whore? It's pretty clear. So when Alex was going to... So when they're in a when they're in a baseball stadium and they you know hit a home run or something and they run and they do this and then <laughs> They're just mocking the shit out of all of us, guys. They have been since we, since the moment you were born. The most subtle. 
the serpent was the most subtle. How do you detect the serpent? You got to invert the world. Then you'll see the serpent all day long. Then you'll be like, oh, my God, I got saved from this. Okay, now, Miley Cyrus, what's she doing? Sticking out her tongue, yes. Uh, you see the dead sheep behind my ear with the tongue sticking out? How weird that one person would have multiple images that people had done of them with the same agenda. Do you find that bizarre? Uh, wait till I show you the, the sheep folder that's got nothing but that. So here is another person that said when he was telling you to go get your health care. I remember the commercial. I was like, what? He's telling everyone to go get your health care. Go to, you know, Obamacare. Go get it. But he's looking in a mirror, a mirror, sticking out his tongue and winking his eye. Why would you do that? Why? Well, it's a spiritual manifestation. Now we know. Michael, his husband, he said Michael's his husband. Michael has a penis and he's got boobs. Now, let me show you something about Miley Cyrus. Here is the xenomorph. And I just, I, I just made the connection. I was like, that's insane. So that's the xenomorph's teeth from the current Romulus and Remus movie. And I, I made a joke. I go, looks like he's got, he's got grills now. And man, I'll tell you what, my brain went immediately to, to this right here. It went immediately to this right here. Right? That's where my brain went to. And it's true. So that's a dimensional trial. I mean, going through there in the very beginning, going into that flesh dimension, spiritual beings going into that dimension is what destroyed us. Watch this. Just look at this. Just watch this. Ready? Here is a serpent being right here. The, the green head of the serpent being. He's holding, he's holding a child in his arms. Now look at this. And the child in his arms is a sheep with its tongue sticking out. Just take a moment to think about that. Now, that is what the Vatican is. The Vatican is a sheep with its tongue sticking out. But it's inside of a serpent. I get it. So is this. Here's a serpent being and his penis, his neck turns into a penis, is going into this girl right here that's on her knees. She's being impregnated. I made her hair blonde right here. So he's impregnating in her and they're having a child that's got a dead sheep in the head because it's a reptilian being. That's the whole system. I mean, it's phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Everything the Lord shown me is true. There's, there's serpents eating the kids. The worst enemies. And watch this. I'm going to. I'm going to click on this, but grab this. Watch this. Let me see. There you go. Ready? I mean, try and wrap your brain around what you're looking at. Look at what you're looking at. This is the serpent being right here. I'm going to put him right inside where he goes. Uh, let's see. There you go. I'll have to just dial it in just a little bit. There you go. Dialed in, baby. That was drawn in by the Lord through me to show you. Now, look look at the red. Uh, Y'all see the red over here behind uh, the serpent beans behind his uh, neck? Okay, that becomes the tongue of the monster that's eating the kid. So our, our new father consumes us. Watch this. We're in a cannibalistic system now where our, our new... The creator of the flesh destroys our soul and eats it. There you go. There it is. You see the red flame to the right that looks like it's going directly to the kid's nose? That is the tongue of the inverted creature, monster, father that's eating his own kid, which is a sheep. Watch. Okay, now, is that a serpent being? Yes or no. Impregnating a woman on her knees? It's a yes or no. I guarantee you that's what it is. Because the Lord drew it in right in front of me. I was there with him, but he did it. <laughs> I'm not I'm not that smart. Okay, now let's turn it upside down. You know what? 
let's let's expand it first watch this ready here it is here it is expanded it's turn okay here we go now I'll put the white sheep right on top. I colored this one gold. Let me see more or less trying to get it in there. Okay, there it is more or less a little tighter. Right there it is. Got it. So you see the dead sheep inside the head of the kid. Why is there a dead sheep with its tongue sticking out in the head of this kid? This is a hieroglyph that's 1,300 years old. I mean, look at that. That's crazy. Look at that. That's a dead sheep. Okay, now, well, wait a minute. The largest altar in the world is a dead sheep, Johnny. I know. It's in the mouth of a snake. The Vatican. Here's a hieroglyph that's 1,300 B.C. that's got a serpent being impregnating a girl on her knees, and he's holding his hybrid baby that's a serpent-sheep blend. Heterogenetic prison houses. They got us to come in and breed and be part of their system. So you see the dead sheep? Okay, remember that I said that little flame going to the kid's nose? So the kid's nose is right here. It's a dead sheep looking this way, but this way it's the it's the kid's face right here. But look at that. Now watch out. Watch what this becomes. Watch how evil this becomes. You want to see evil? So you want to see the world as it truly is? You want to see what's going on? You want to see why people draw pictures of me with dead sheep on my face? This is why. Right here. There's what's hunting you. You see the red turban? Like it's Islam. See Islam? I will rise. by. See the upside down God? The upside down one that's eating the sheep, eating the angels? The upside down People said, click, there's no other God. You want to bet? The angel of the abyss is a God, isn't it? The God of this world. Jesus said, my kingdom is not of this world. El, the almighty God, said, heaven is my throne. The earth is my footstool where I walk around. He's walking around in us. But if you don't get your battery recharged, your soul bought back, your battery recharged by him, your soul bought back because of your duality, you go to eternal damnation. That's as plain as I know how to say this. The churches are liars. I've been to the big churches. All they did was lie to me. And I confronted them. I'm like, wait a minute, I'm showing you truth. You can't bring that here. You can't show that here. Hagee's Church, uh, CBC in San Antonio, all these big ministries. I talked to, they, they literally pulled a pastor named Larry right out of my presence. Get away from him, Larry. Get away right now. Why would you do that? I'm just showing him the Twin Tower bombings. I'm showing him the Vatican's a snake, a snickety, snickety snake. Get away from him, Larry. This Tammy Faye lady came out and yelled him out of my presence. Why? Well, because when you see the truth, you can wake up from the trance. They don't want you waking up from the trance you're in. Uh-huh. And so what's the trance? Well, you're in you're in her system. You're just like the Dos Equis guy. You've been put to sleep and you're in her system. So yes or no? Is that 2X right here? Well, they even put a 2X in front of her. Look. See the 2X in front of her. You see her? 2X, 2X, and what's in the middle? The monkey in the middle. Look, here's the cornerstone of their canopy. Get it? The cornerstone of the flesh for these guys. Female, female, guy in the middle, monkey in the middle, right there in the middle, which is the nose of the dragon. Have you ever heard Hidden right under your nose? Now you know what it means. Right under your nose. And we did it all right to your face. So now, now you know why these guys changed their logo to be right side up, upside down. Now you know why the Heineken commercial, he rings the doorbell and he goes to some crazy party with a woman in Scarlet. And he, he obviously does the wrong thing promiscuous sex and they throw him out of the party and the six becomes nine and the number nine right here because you turn a six upside down it becomes a nine but look what's on the door behind him the number 11 nine 
11. He's got a confused look on his face, as does everyone that dies in the second they wake up in hell. They probably have the same look, followed by extreme terror for the rest of eternity because they didn't realize the party they went to, the flesh, the twin female party, was really a satanic hunting ground for like XX121. Now have I made my point? It's all real. All the commercials, all of it. The host body is the big illusion. But now the Lord's let me see completely past it. I can show it to you everywhere all the time now. I'm not liked very much in public. Nope. Uh-huh. Even when I'm not doing nothing. No. Well, isn't it fascinating? Like, what about, what about Ozzy in patient number nine? So he's sitting back to back to like the Hindecagram. But then it's time to blossom into what you really are, which is right here. What is this? So Ozzy turns into the real Ozzy, the 2X Ozzy. And all these people are standing in line so they can turn into the 2X themselves too. That's why we put a number six on this. See the number six right here? And the reflection of that six in the water is a nine. We added the six and the nine to make it easy for your brain. Uh -huh. So everything the Lord's had me do and show you is correct because the one that I'm the one that I'm ratting out is Elohim, the builders. I'm ratting out the ones that said, let us create this place in our image. Let us create man in our image. That's who I'm ratting out, the builders. But here's the cool thing. The stone rejected by the builders, which is Jesus, has become the chief cornerstone. So we've taken over the younger. So the elder now, elder represents Cain, shall serve the younger, which is Abel. Or Esau will serve Jacob. You get it? Because when you roll it, they end up having to serve you. The trap they set has become their own. They set a trap by inverting us. And that trap, proof i'm inverting it back i'm showing you the whole trap now and that means that they're indicted and they'll be judged accordingly to the indictment that they turned all god's angels upside down now you know why i had a parachute that said v for vengeance that's the top of my parachute and it just happens to make an x v with the number four and then it says vengeance one way, and then it says vengeance upside down. And it's shaped like a V with fangs because it's a vampiric system. It's also shaped like an hourglass, and it's an X made up from two Vs. A right, a right side up V and an upside down V. Together, they make the X. Right side up and upside down is what's going to be judged. That's why I'm the V for vengeance guy. Now you have a complete understanding of who I am and what my ministry was. Church of the Philadelphia, I've given to you the key of David. Open doors no man can shut. I know you have a little strength. You have not denied my name. I will keep you from the hour of testing. It's all true. All of it. Look at all the data. Now, let's take a breath. <laughs> It's so crazy. I mean, there's no greater peace than having the truth live in you. Y'all know World War III's already started, right? You know this thing was to get everybody for the final solution, don't you? Final solution for the sheep. Just like they had the final solution for the Jews. Do you know the word burnt offering? Do you know what the word burnt offering is in the Bible? Let me show you. Can you guys say that word real? Just a holocaust as going up in smoke, a scent, burnt offering. A stepper collectively stares as ascending. Let's see, a step or collectively stares as ascending. Uh, I'll say it one more time. It says a step 
or collectively stares as ascending and the word ascending is uh is Allah so let me show you that real quick stares as ascending holocaust burnt offering a step of stairs as ascending the word ascending is Allah to rise it is in the scripture I just showed you and it says Allah it means the God like Elohim for the God I wonder what all the odds are on all this probably zero uh, I wonder what the odds are that there's a serpent in a in a uh, Ozzy Osbourne video that is a bow tying two females together and I wonder what the odds are that the dragon in the Vatican has two eyes each eye is 2x 2x both eyes are 2x which is female female eye on the dragon female eye on the dragon stuck in the middle is the guy where the nose is but what about when they're done with all the guy stuff because they don't need guys they don't need a guy at all they can do whatever they want they they use the energy from the system that that was the goal to destroy but remember when he said our future and our children are tied up together but you know what is still true is we have a reptilian part of our brain just like nancy pelosi said nancy said we have a rep where she said that they're cold-blooded reptiles but the guy in the, on the view said that he said and and the bible says and i saw and behold a white horse and he that sat on him had a bow let me just make it a bow for you you see the you see the pink bow because when it comes up it comes up if you do it slowly it shows a bow a pink bow tying together two women ascending ascending allah they're ascending from the abyss and there's this kind of stuff involved because it's called patient number nine and it's probably just one impossible coincidence that's like one in a trunk and he went out conquering to conquer with the bow to tie everything together but what he was tying together was male and female energies and a crown was given unto him he went forth conquering to conquer and it becomes a serpent and it just so happens that just recently we saw a female 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 represents death see female olympic riding in a public games like a crown in a public games and she rode out she rode on top of the water going under the nymph statues and which is an intermediate stage of a bug and then she rode it underneath the nymph statues and then got on that horse and then handed them a flag uh, that they put up and it was upside down right there. So every single thing I just said to you happened and it's biblical. She rose up. She came through her arches underneath the nymph statues. The double-headed eagle was on the bridge on one side, the nymphs on the other. Leviathan was underneath the women. It was all right there in plain view, right in front of your sights. But see, they're, they're not front-loading you. They're not gaslighting you. It's who they are. They are 2X. They even say it, we are 2X. Madonna is 2X, X on the eye, X on her chest. Beckham's wife, she's got a twin. Uh, she's got two X tattoo on her heel. There's all these women with these two X tattoos. Why? Because they are two X. That's who they are. That's serpent race. Okay, now let's kind of tie it together again and just like see how obvious it is. So on the again, I I, I was going to share the square and compass because the stone that's rejected by the builders. Now y'all know that you know the Freemasons and all these guys. Y'all know that. They give the contracts to, if you're not part of the boys club, you're not going to get all the contracts, you know, because everybody knows each other, big fraternity. Uh, and so the builders, the, the Freemasons and those guys, uh, you know, the guys that make big, big money and the guys that watch each other, watch out for each other in business and all that, they're part of these organizations. Well, this is the symbol for the Freemasons. It has a G in the middle, but uh, 
the number on this is 1217. So right here on the left, it goes to the left, 5, 10, 11, 12. And to the right, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17. 5, 7, uh, I'm sorry, 12, 17. 12, 17 is the number uh, for the Freemasons uh, square and compass. I saw another one that was very profound as well, but this is the one. And it says 12, 17 in the Bible means builder, maker, creator, God. It literally says creator is God, whose architect, whose builder, Demiorgos, maker, creator, to work on behalf of a group of people whose builder is God. Okay, there's no way that they could have that without someone having biblical knowledge of the whole thing. And the ones that have biblical knowledge are the ones that created the host body system through parthenogenesis, which is a female energy rising up out of the pit and starting a host body system. And that energy that does that is 2X. And that is the eyes and ears of the pit. So Satan is in the pit, the angel of the abyss, and there's her X and there's her X on her chest. That's who they serve. They're just simply the manifestation of that tree. And now you can see it. During the Olympics was just a continuation of the Madonna thing, but here come the worms hatching. So now all the worms are coming up. They're popping up. Here's Lucifer. I will exalt my throne. I will breed worms. You're looking right at it. I will breed worms above the princes of El. So they're coming up out of the pit. That entity is taking over. They hate the sheep. And then you have in politics things like this going on. I, they didn't know what they were talking about. We were, we know our we're different from the president. We're very discreet. Reptilian. Look at her. We're very discreet. <laughs> Reptilian. Look at her. Look at her when she says discreet. Reptilian. Cold-blooded. These are the... Wow, okay. All right. <laughs> Success and our children's success uh, is tied up uh, together. Mm -hmm. But what is still true is is that you know, uh, there's still kind of a reptilian side of our brain. Okay, so everyone's success. Now, Whoopi wants to know who are we, what are we? Well, if you're the reptilian race trying to see where it's all going, that's kind of a good question. I ask you, what, what are we, who are we? What, what are we? What, what are we? Everybody here is connected in some fashion. Uh, and Everybody's here is connected in some fashion. Well, that's through the spiritual inner breeding of uh, two different energies, male and female energy, one from heaven, one from the pit. Everyone's connected. Uh, and now let me sh show you exactly what it is. What, what are we? What, what are we? Everybody here is connected in some fashion. Uh, and our success and our children's success uh, is tied up uh, together. Mm -hmm. But what is still true is, is that, you know, uh, there's still kind of a reptilian side of our... Okay, so success and children's success is tied together uh, and... Ozzy did a, a video called Patient Number Nine. And I remember I showed you all the people standing in line to get uh, that thing right there, right? I'm going to circle it right here. So everybody was standing in line to get their vibranium. <laughs> anyway, yeah, they were standing in line to get that because they were coerced. And they needed to get that, which is a type of lizard type of reptile and a little vibranium in you uh and they were you know heavily pressured with losing their job source of income uh you know everybody had to make a decision and what's crazy is the way that they present it when they when they put it out on google images i was like why do they have it sitting like this where it's got its mirror reflection so 
we simply added a little bow here to tie together the mirror reflection. So we put a purple bow right there to tie it together. Yep. So anyway, so there is the, uh, there it is tied together. So we're tying together up and down. That's why we put the bow there. And then, so the, that would represent the pit tying together the angels with the female. So there's no way out. And then what's weird is there's a biblical scripture that talks about that. And it says, and I saw behold a white horse and he that sat on him had a bow. And the word bow means the simplest form of fabric and a crown was given unto him and he went forth conquering and to conquer. And then it becomes a serpent taking over and twin females rising. So the twin females are rising Allah, Allah, like the God of Islam, Allah out of the pit. We just happen to have a guy that kind of did a presidency and destroyed the whole country from the inside as well and made false allegations against other people to have their presidency destroyed. So anyway, it's becoming, it's not even obvious anymore, is it? It's stupid obvious. That means the Lord knows. What I mean is if I can show it to you myself, if you don't think the that the Lord God in heaven knows. So the other team in the spiritual realm they know that the lord god from heaven is about to exact his judgment on every living soul i told you i was a harbinger yes now i think everybody believes me i think now after seeing all this who could show you guys this hieroglyph who could show you guys the Vatican's a snake? Who could show you people drawing pictures of me with a snake eating a sheep on the image of me? That's what the Vatican is, is a snake eating sheep, which are angels. That's what the hieroglyph of Akhenaten is, is serpents eating sheep. It's representing the angelic part of you. See, the angelic part, you ready, is your soul. Now you know. The host body system is attached to the pit. They want to eat your soul. So it is a real thing. So now the Lord's may let me make a nebulous concept like, you know, life and death and your soul. He's let me make it 100% concrete for you now because we're being hunted by a race from the pit. It's the serpent using the host body as a way to destroy us. Now, I want to play you some short little clips that are two minute clips that I've used as introduction clips. Now I want you to see how pertinent and how relevant all these little short clips are. And then we'll look at some commercials and we'll apply the commercials to everything I've just showed you. So you know now in your heart, the end of the world's here. It's here. And that you're ready in your heart because you'll never, never make it through this unless you're on the rock. You'll have to be on the rock. You cannot withstand what's coming emotionally, spiritually, uh, without being on the rock, it, it'll be beyond. No, no, no human mind will be able to deal with it. So anyway, and you won't have any confidence. You're going to need to know, know that you know that you know Christ, that you have the mind of Christ. And I'm going to show you that. I'm going to take a short little break. I'll be back in about two minutes. Well, five minutes, but for you, it'll seem like less than a second. Okay, seemed like less than a second, right? So so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this right now. I'm going to kind of bring this to a conclusion for this video, but I'm going to start the next video on this video. I'm not going to hang up the headset because my computer won't allow me to process this video and then be recording another one without in dramatically increasing my potential for major glitches and problems. So therefore, I'm going to come to a little conclusion here, and then I'm going to go into a scriptural video if time allows. If not, um, then maybe tonight or tomorrow, I'm just going to read all these shots I have of all these scriptures that solved all this. Because there needs to be a standing record of the scriptures read out loud that resolved this whole mystery. Because this is the Lord, guys. This is the Lord God using a servant that he named Yahweh has given. 
he named me. My name was supposed to be Patrick when I was born, but because of a, a nine minute chain, a nine minutes, because of nine minutes, I was named Jonathan. True story. Crazy. Uh, when I was told about how I ended up with my name. Anyway, so, yeah, my mom used to tell me the story. I was like, well, that's really weird. Why didn't you just name me Patrick? And they said, well, they couldn't because I was born nine minutes before St. Patrick's Day on March 16th. On 316, I was born, but they were sure I was going to be born on the 17th. So my name was Patrick, and they had already decided on Patrick. And because I was born nine minutes before St. Patrick's Day, all of a sudden my mom said she just had a change of, well, I can't name him Patrick because he didn't make it till St. Patrick's Day. So all I'm going to name him Jonathan instead of Patrick. I wonder what the odds are. <laughs> okay, here we go. Something very bizarre is going on. <laughs> okay, let's something very evil. 